This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is data migration in CPS for Hub. Okay. So the the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is data migration, data migration activity, or you have is is for hana data migration cockpit okay we will cover key features of data migration cockpit okay then benefits of using ltmc okay and ltmc steps we will execute one end to end flow of ltmc okay so basically uh, when implementing your sap s4 hana solution you can migrate your master data and business data from SAP systems and non-SAP systems to SAP S4. So normally in the real time, what happens is when the when the S4 HANA, uh, when the SAP implementation happens, they will migrate their data, master data and business data, that means transactional data, okay? From their legacy system, non-SAP system, like legacy system, okay, to the, SAP system using this data migration activity actually. Okay, so suppose let's say, let's say take a typical case, let's say a company, a organization is there, a organization is there, okay, they are implementing SAP, okay. So previously, let's say they have a other ERP, let's say Oracle, okay, just take an example, they have Oracle, okay. Now from Oracle, they are migrating to SAP. SAP, let's say S4 HANA. Version is S4 HANA. Okay. So that time they will migrate all the data in Oracle. Okay. Into SAP. Okay. This this legacy system can be anything, no? not only Oracle, any 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 non-SAP system. I just took an example of uh, Oracle. It can be any non-SAP system. Okay, so when they bike, so when they when they move from a for non-SAP system, legacy system to SAP, they will migrate all the data from this system to SAP system. Okay, so here normally they will migrate all the master data. Okay, and also uh, during the cutover, they will migrate the open transactional data. Transactional data. So in our case, in the PM module. Normally, the master data you know already. What is a master data? Normally, we have equipment. Okay. Equipment and of course, functional locations. Functional locations, equipment. Okay. What is other data? If you have serial numbers, serial numbers. Okay. All other, whatever the master data we have, that data. And transactional data, we have notifications notifications and orders work orders this is our transactional data so this data they will migrate from the legacy system to sap system okay using this data migration activity okay data migration activity data migration so during our training what we did let's say if you take the case of equipment okay equipment we created this through IE01. So the, for, for the creation of a single equipment, we used IE01. But let's say they have to create, let's say, 1000 equipments. Now creating 1000 equipments one by one using this transaction will take a lot of time. That's why they go for a mass upload. So that mass upload is handled through this data migration. Okay, so that is our. So to do this, to do this, you use the SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit. So SAP has come up with a solution called migration cockpit. With this, using this, they will migrate the data. The SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit facilitates the transfer of business data from a source system to SAP S4 HANA system. So this source system can be anything, your legacy system, it can be Oracle, JD AdWords, okay, Unity. It, it can be anything. Or it can be a SAP ERP also. SAP ECC system also, okay. 
the sap s4 hana migration cockpit uses migration objects to identify and transfer the relevant data okay so this s4 hana migration cockpit is nothing but ltmc they call it as ltmc so this ltmc is nothing but legacy transfer migration cockpit full form of LT ltmc is this one legacy transfer migration cockpit so in this ready made templates are available to upload the data so in this cockpit you have the ready made upload templates for all the master data and transactional data nearly all master data and transactional scenarios are covered in it so in in this cockpit you will have the templates you need to download the template and fill the data and upload the template upload the data okay so this is the one so this is what we are discussing so normally what happens is during the implementation either you may have erp system sap erp system old old version okay or any third party system any third party legacy system your your legacy system can be anything so from these systems you extract the data you extract the data and this data you will put it in a file file and you will upload it you will upload it okay into the sap s4 hana system so for this data upload we will be using the migration cockpit migration cockpit so you extract the data from the legacy system you put it in the file and then you will upload that's what you will put okay so that we will see it in the system today okay so these are the key features of the sap s4 hana migration cockpit okay it is very easy to use safe and accelerated okay so basically out of the box available for sap s4 hana and s4 hana cloud include including licenses so this migration cockpit comes as a package with sap s4 hana it will it will contain pre configured migration object. so already for all the master data objects all the transactional data objects not only pm for all the modules you will have the pre configured templates available no developer skills is required so here you don't need any technical consultant help you can do it on your own it's very easy okay step by step guidance through the migration process and this will be it will it is a step by step process and it is a guided one which we will see it in the system pre configured migration objects and rules so all everything is already pre configured uh, data migration cockpit automated cross object value mapping so already you can do the value mapping uh, already available in the system okay so these are the key features of the data migration cockpit okay so basically what are the benefits of using ltmc okay so basically uh, already you have all the standardized templates okay there is no longer a need to create source structures target structures and mappings okay so no need to do develop any template no need to do any mappings so everything is already available this is already done by sap for almost all the migration objects so basically uh, everything is ready template and mappings everything ready you just need to download the template file uploadable file and in that file you fill the data and then just simply upload okay no screen recording here you don't have to do any recordings which are done in the lsmw in the in the ecc system so in the ecc system they use lsmw so but in our ltmc in our ltmc this screen recordings and everything is not required not required okay next user friendly templates so already ready made excel templates are available available for all the objects so you just use them as it is okay next one is a detailed instructions so that these templates contain detailed instructions on how to fill them up and filled in templates can be uploaded through a simple interface you can do that okay simple interface okay 
but that's what you can do any error messages are